Hello everyone, I spent just over 50 hours trying to complete the new DLC for Planet Crafter, Planet Humble. As a fun little side note, a day in this game is about 25 minutes, so in total I spent over 120 days for those who are interested in those numbers. This is a long form compilation of the full series I did. So if you want to see it in episodes, there will be a link in the description to the playlist. However, this has been re-edited to kind of fit the more long-form style, and there will be an extra bonus clip towards the end of me going over the ending and what I think about it so far. So let's get into it. Planet Crafter's first DLC is finally out. So now when you make a new save file, you can choose between Planets, Prime, or Humble, which is the DLC planet. So let's make a new save file. So as you can see, the planet itself changes. This is just the base planet. It seems to be a bit smaller as well, which is kind of funny because the map itself is supposedly half the size of the main game. But yeah, I did not expect them to make the actual planet look smaller too. Now, I wouldn't say that is 50% smaller and this introduction seems very similar. There we go. We are unhumble. Let's see what the message says this time. Please ignore any previous attempts to terraform the planet. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the process of terraforming this world. You'll need to generate O2, heat and pressure. First reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Sentinel Corp. Dude, that's interesting. So we are still prisoners then? So we got a Lerma seed in this box now. I think originally, on the original planet at least, uh, you did not get the seed. Although I don't remember. Well, let's go check around. I see something new. Dolomite. Insert this into an ore breaker to extract rare ores. And the ore crusher is something we have to craft. Although we cannot craft anything right now. Due to obvious reasons, of course. That being, we don't have any chips or anything. Well, aluminum already, eh? I wanted to destroy that box, but we can't do that either. And we have oxygen to deal with. I don't have a jetpack. And it's gonna get to... I'm gonna have to get used to this. Let's see, is there anything we can make? Preferably a backpack. Uh, let's just start making the other things as well. We need them regardless. This planet, though, looks kind of crazy. Like, these trees look insane. Also, that moon. That looks insane. It has, like, a halo on it. Some fabric? Follow me surprised, we're finding a bunch of what is, or what used to be, kind of rare materials, at least mid-game, right? Now, it has been a while since I, like, started from scratch, but I'm not sure if things changed. I mean, you don't use fabric until mid-game, at least. I don't want to go out too far, especially as our oxygen is just not great. I think the sad part is, though, is it kind of looks like we might need to. I don't see any cobalt laying about. So it also sounds like the soundtrack is a bit different. The devs really did a lot though, I will admit. Like six months ago, they were thinking about creating DLC. We have an entire new planet to explore. I'm not sure how much is actually already explorable. So we'll uh, we'll have to see. What is this over here? I kind of, I mean, I want to look at everything, but I know I cannot go too far away. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I imagine that's death down there. Or maybe we unlock that later. Kind of similar to the meteor crater. Where there was a bunch of sand, but then... Or like a sandstorm. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna die. Never mind. So what's all over here then? What is this? Can we pick this up? No. Cannot deconstruct it either. They seem to be like iridium fuel rods or nuclear fuel rods or something like that. Let's see what his was. Terraforming task. Carefully manipulate explosive devices in order to extract rare materials. Lost status. Everything is going well. Yeah, sure, mate. Finding target, approaching target, placing explosive device. Moving away from explosive device. Can't complete. I'm guessing this thing blew up. What was it trying to blow up, though? Like, it's talking about rare materials, but there's nothing really rare around here. Let's see what it had with it. Explosives. Oh, dang. That's a lot of them, actually, as well. Is there, like, any place we can blow up around here? Take a little look around. Like, it said it couldn't move away. 
So you would imagine that it is around this rock here. I don't see anything though. Yeah, no. That does definitely need some investigating later. For now though, we found the cobalt, so let's head back. All right, let's start making the oxygen tank. Let's see, the ore crusher is up next, right? Oh, that's this thing. Ooh, I thought it was like some sort of furnace. I guess I was wrong. All right, we need a three dolomite for that. We're gonna start placing this down and see how it works. Collect your mined ores from here. Insert ore to break them apart. Is it just any ore? I don't think so, right? Like the dolomite specifically said it could be broken down. Dolomite, where are you? I think I see a piece. Yep. All right, so it's set to put it in here. And then... Ah, oh, it needs power as well. We'll take it 150 seconds. That's actually pretty damn long. All right, let's make some windmills. It needed like three megawatts or three watts of power. That's crazy because it needs three windmills on its own to run. And I guess then it's going to take a little while. I also may as well pick up all the dolomite and shove it in that machine. Seeing as it wanted us to make it, I imagine it comes out with something we need. I will admit though, my experience so far is I like it, but it feels modded somehow, you know what I mean? Like, we start all over again, everything is completely different, there's new weird machines. <laughs> it feels so modded for some reason. Alright, then next up, I guess a base would be in order. Now, I kind of have a plan for this as well, and it seems like this, is right here, is a good spot. Now, seeing as I already pointed at it, you might be able to tell what I'm planning. Not sure if it's gonna work, but I saw these trees, and my thought is, what if we make like a tree house or something similar to that effect, right? Well, it seems like it would work, actually. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That works. It's night, and I can't see a damn thing, but it works. Now, the other question is, how the heck are we gonna get up there? My idea was stairs, because ladders aren't gonna work. Actually, we don't even have ladders unlocked in the first place. So it's gonna have to be stairs. Looking at it, we also need some water, actually. Interestingly enough, though, I haven't seen any ice laying about. Now, I didn't really think about that in the first place because, well, eventually in Planet Crafter, you don't see ice. So I kind of forgot that it was a thing. But that is how we get water, of course. But did these produce anything? Ah, cobalt and titanium? Not really that special, is it? Or I'm really quickly gonna check around that explosive machine. And in any of these chests, because I think I did see water. I just don't remember exactly where. Here we are. A ton of it, actually. I think that will keep us going for at least a little while here. Hopefully until we have set up something ourselves. Honestly, that will probably go a lot faster if I were to actually try go for something like that. <laughs> Instead of building this weird-ass treehouse, then I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work yet. But hey, if it works, it's gonna be sick as hell. At least that is what I'm hoping. Alright, how do I want to do this, though? I don't think I want to have it exactly match up to that. Foundation, maybe? Yeah, it's gonna look a little weird, but... I think this entire thing is gonna look hella weird. It's gonna require some weird-ass glitchy shenanigans, I think, to place this. Well, not that I'm new to that. There we go. New oxygen tank tier two. There's actually a snowy area over there. I might want to check that out, see if there is any ice. And I think I'm just going to take a couple of these oxygen bottles and have a little look, see. What the heck is this? Bunch of new type of plants, a microchip? I kind of want to take them all. I mean, I'm already full up now, which is kind of an issue. I think I see ice here. Yep. Alright, good. So there is ice, and it's relatively close, at least. I don't want to explore this area yet. I kind of want to do that all in one go. But we'll keep a mental note that there is an ice biome, like, right here. I kind of expected it to have the same plants as Prime did. But I suppose it turns out that, no, the developers even made new plants for this planet. I wonder what else is going to be new, then. You gotta be kidding me, right? It's, like, so close. But there we go. We can now properly walk up to our new house. We cannot make any fences yet? Huh. Alright, and how we are going to expand upon this, we'll have to take a look. I think eventually what we'll do is we'll take down a bunch of these pillars to actually match up with the ground. But we need a better source of iron for that. Does it produce this? 
It doesn't look like this produces much iron, to be fair. If we actually have one more silicon, we can make a better oxygen tank. All right, I can see that the crusher is handy for moments like that, where we need something and a specific, and it might be in there. There we go. We got the oxygen tank tier two. Next up, I think I'll work on some of the screens, but we're going to need a bunch more iron for that. Hey, what's over there? Is it like solar panels and little habitats, maybe? All right, let's go investigate. What is all over here, then? More plants. Ooh, some water. Sweet. Kind of needed that. As for microchips, we can disable these or disassemble these. Ooh, what's up here? Offline. Yeah, I, uh, I bet it is. More water, too. But can you tell me what this was? This must be where, like, those rovers went to power up, I imagine, right? Like, it seems like even though everything is kind of man-made, what I think is that they just send out robots to basically build everything and do everything here. That at least makes sense to me, why everything seems to be man-made. Because it would be either that or this is, like, very old. Because according to the Steam page, people haven't set foot up here in a very long time. Thing as this world is unexplored territory. Let's start making some of those screens now. And I gotta admit, this music... It for some reason makes me think of Subnautica a lot. <laughs> Probably doesn't help, seeing as it already had so many comparisons to Subnautica. Planet Crafter itself. Alright, a blueprint screen. Online. We have a microchip. The agility boots. Alright, and then power. We don't have a whole lot left, but I think we have enough left. Yeah, we definitely have enough left for that. I think something that would be cool is if we could have these foundations without the entire, like, underside. That would make things like this so much better. Now, where do I want to hang this up? I think over here, right? And we can have another screen on this side, and it kind of looks like this is meant to be here. And that wants to make a progression screen, but when do we unlock that exactly? We need heat for that, okay. Yeah, we don't have the iridium for that, though, at the moment. But I think let's get that going. So we need some ice, and we need to get the iridium. I think the iridium was this way. There were some laying about in chests right next to that explosive uh, drone thing. All right, we got a heater. Place that in the middle here. And then next up is the veggie tube. We need magnesium and ice for that. And imagine magnesium, it must be in here. Yep, yep. Let's go get some ice. Can I slot that, like, right in here? Kinda not really where I want it yet. There we go, that's way better. Nicely tucked away in the corner. Let's go get some flowers. Actually, we have some flowers. Seems like this cello seed is the best. Let's slap that in there. I'm kinda surprised that we still have power, actually. Alright, I think in the meantime, while we're waiting on this progression screen, I'm just gonna start working on the base a little bit. Interesting, so I was looking around for some ice. I discovered this. In the trailers, it looked a lot more vibrant and alive. It looked kind of like an egg. I'm guessing they are just petrified right now, and when we go up in terraformation, they unpetrify, maybe? That actually looks pretty damn cool already, though. Would you look at that over there, though? It seems like a Colosseum of some sort. Pretty cool looking. Won't be checking that out today, though. But there's a lot of cool stuff to figure out. It seems like there's a bunch of ice over there, so I imagine we can't even do anything there yet. We'll probably have to melt that first. Right now, so we can make the backpack tier free. It's a lot more inventory space. All right, I found a new microchip. What do we get? Mining speed upgrades. All right, we should almost have the screen for progression. I'm done with our starter base for now. It is quite the pain to collect all the materials at the moment. <laughs> I just wanted to get on top of the tree, pretty much, so we have a good lookout. So how about we go check this out? So we just walk up these stairs. At first, I started, you know, placing on these platforms. I placed a couple of the windmills up here, or the turbines. Eventually, I was like, it just looks way too bulky if we place these foundations down. Plus, I don't like the underside of them. So I just kind of started not using them. 
And now it just kind of became a parkour place as well. It's kind of funny. I've made a little window here so we can look out onto the well barren wasteland of trees without tops. Actually, I don't even know what the heck these are. They don't look like trees much except for they're stump shaped. Some of these jumps look like near impossible, but you can just make them. Then there was something sticking out here. It doesn't actually have collision, I guess, thank God. I don't think they're actually a thought of anyone actually coming up here. You can kind of see that up here, though, especially, because you couldn't very easily place the houses down or the habitats. But also, there is this invisible barrier here, so I couldn't even enter this one, which is why there's one on top. And from here, we can look out over this, well, whatever this is, snow biome over there, which looks pretty cool. And then more over there. And of course, if we step out the door, we can see more this way. I will imagine we can see farther later if we have like blue skies and everything. As I'm pretty sure that is how the main game went as well. So this place will become cooler as we advance. Lawn heat, go faster, man. I placed down a couple more of these generators, but yeah, I couldn't really find any more of the iridium. Otherwise, I would have probably placed more. Come on, man, it's at two. Give it to me, man. There we go. We got the progression. Now, I can't place it in the original spot I wanted to anymore because there's a ladder now. So, can we just slot it in? Yep, there we go. Well, we are not that far along for blue skies, only 2.5%. I think first things first, let's just start with exosuit and agility boots. So these boots will make our movement speed go a bit faster. Now, it doesn't seem like we can do the second one yet. I haven't found super alloy in this world yet. I guess that's where that ends for now. Ooh, we unlocked the tier 2 drill. That actually comes in quite handy. I'm gonna make the torch real quick because this is gonna eventually come in handy later as it is a flashlight. And I actually wanted to start out with the drill, so that is good. How much power do we have? Not even enough for two. Where do we unlock solar? Okay, tier two solar panels, like 17 and a half KTI. All right, that's a little ways off still. One of the things I also want to check is yeah, I do have some iridium. So let's make one tier two heater as it is way better than the two tier ones. I actually do have some more. Wait a second, I have a big brain idea. We destroyed these, right? We have two more iridium, which means we can make even more of these. That's a big upgrade. It goes from basically 0.6, since we had two of them, to two of these, which will generate nine. I know it doesn't sound like great, but hey, it is way better at least. But that's all the iridium we have, so we cannot even upgrade that any farther. Now the veggie tube takes less power than the drill, so I think that's what I want to focus on. I basically, what I'm trying to do here is stall as much time to kind of hope that we get this solar panel. And we'll probably have to make some more, but let's get some ice. However, before we do that, there is a trick that I want to employ here. And it requires all of these items that you see in my inventory right here. Basically, what this allows us to do is create a living compartment and a door. That way we don't need the oxygen bottle. I guess this kind of goes hand in hand with us trying to explore the icy area anyway. I suppose in a way that's good. But I'd much rather do it while all the TI is ticking up. Seems like this leads into an ice cave. I would have to be somewhat careful. I kind of go willy nilly use up all the ice that is around here. Thing as we do need some water at some point. Didn't really get to explore much of this area. There was actually a lot more ice there than I thought there would be. Now, you might be wondering why I want to explore the ice caverns first, since we probably can't really do a lot there. And the simple reason for that is I want to see how up to how far we can get. Like, the biomes change over time, right? And I kind of want to see that difference on Humble, because I haven't really managed to see it a lot in the main game. Now, that is mainly because they added so many new biomes, and I haven't really restarted the game since. I did once with a friend. For now, let's slap these plants in there. They'll create a ton more oxygen. Yeah, look at the KTI at the top. It actually goes somewhat fast now. And I hate the door sounds if there's so many doors. Jesus Christ. All right, I think we can make one more. The veggie tube tier two before we have to actually make something that resembles power. All right, it's probably going to shut down power what I'm about to do. 
Yep, as I thought. That is why I brought this, though. Get the wind turbine down. Power is restored. TI is flowing. We're not that far off from our goal of making the tier 2 solar panels. What I think I'll do for now, seeing as we're almost there anyway, I don't really want to be making low tier power things like turbines. We'll go check out the Colosseum, as I don't think it's very big around there. And on the way, I guess we may as well grab a couple of remaining items. I have been walking back and forth, grabbing the items from that place, which seems to be like the uh, robot recharging station. I don't think I got everything yet. But anyway, we're gonna go over to this. I keep calling it a Colosseum because it looks like it due to all the pillars. I don't actually know what it is. And the other question is, can we even do anything here? All right, so there's a cave over here as well. Uh. Oh, okay, it's a geode. Or something like that. For looking at it from over here, it looked like a damn monster. It did say something, right? Can be destroyed with explosives. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to come back at them with explosives. We do have a ton of them. There seems to be a giant eyes wall. What is our requirement for this? 200 million TI? We should have probably not brought all the damn ice with us. I uh, did not think about that. Ooh. Looks pretty nice. Let's see what the other side holds. Oh, the super alloy is here. Well, one piece anyway. If it's two, I'll grab them. But if it's one, I'll leave it for now. Yeah, it seems to be only one here. Ooh, there's a second piece here. Oh! What you look at that down there? Ooh, and we got the tier 2 solars. Where about- Oh! Okay, well, I guess we're going down. And let's hope we find some water in one of these chests. Hey, nice. Alright, so this is where aluminum spawns, by the looks of it. Morse. Oh, man. I really wish I brought- What was this? Boxide. Alright, box. You're gonna hold some cobalt for me for now. I'm taking this home. Pretty sure we can slot that into the crusher as well. Yeah, it can be inserted into the ore breaker to extract a rare ores. Okay. Open storage crate. Ooh, blue chip module. And a message offline. So this looks like an area they maybe manufacture these bots. Does this also say offline? I can't even read this message. Oh, wait, I can? Offline. Okay, yeah. It looks like we're gonna head towards the snow biome. Actually, I see our forested area over there. What the hell did we even walk to? Oh, we're back here where the charging station is. You can see our base, but you cannot see the tree that's standing upon. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, we went up there. I guess we circled around, of course, and then we came out here. Oh, here's another tier 2 solar panel. Since we unlocked those, actually, we may as well break it and place it back down. Yeah, look at the power, man, that we got. The power boost from the solar panel tier 2. It's ridiculous. Oop, our first meteor shower. These drop a lot more direct on the planet. What the heck? They also seem to drop pretty far away from us. Okay, that one landed right over there. Got some oxygen. And let's go check out what it drops. Oh. It, uh, it drops, well, a bunch of basic materials. There was some silicon in here too, so I guess that's good. Yeah, a bunch of silicon, heck yeah. We needed that, actually. Alright, just like that, we have eight of these things. My plants actually look pretty cool. They look kind of like cactuses. Or cacti, or whatever the heck it would be pronounced as. And look at the KTI flow. So I've put down a couple tier 2 drills, extra heaters. Let's go get those explosives. I want to see what was hiding inside those rocks. I want to grab a couple, because I'll probably fuck it up. All right, well, that's triggered. I kind of wanted to place it a bit closer, but I think it still blows it up. Yeah, okay, so this is how you get aluminum. I guess that is an interesting other way of getting it. It is a more expensive way of getting it, that's for dang sure. Since you can find them laying about in that valley we were just at, with the dome, I don't think it's worth using your explosives on this, or at least not yet, unless you maybe have, like, a stockpile and you really need the aluminum. All right, let's go explore that cave. And with that cave, I mean the ice cave. Why the heck is it getting so crazy dark? What the heck? Oh my god. Dude, look at that. Can you get out of the way, tree? I want to take a picture of this. This looks epic and amazing, and I don't know the words for it anymore, man. Dude, that looks so cool. Oh, the other moon as well. Fun trees, get out of the way, man. 
They look so cool. I wonder if this ice will eventually melt. I should not be running around like that, I guess. Just follow the path like a good dude. Hey, is that Osmium down there? It is. But we're gonna have to melt the ice for that. And then there is more here? There's an entire ice tunnel, what the heck? How much stuff are we uh, love? I can't even speak. The transmission screen might be good to get, though. What I was gonna say is how much stuff are we unlocking suddenly? I guess because we unlocked the transmission screen, we also unlocked the antenna. Which is probably why it looked like we unlocked so much suddenly. And let's go in the ice cave. Branch is out, too. Uh, let's go left first. This will lead to a big open space with another one of these explosive robots. Does this one have anything special to say? Terraforming task carefully manipulate explosive devices in order to extract the rare materials. Last status. Everything is going well. Log. Find target, approaching target, placing explosive device, moving away from explosive device, can't complete. Automating explosive device or activating explosive device. That's the second one we found like this. And again, there's a bunch of explosives here. I'll take them. So my big guess on what happened is probably the transmission station where they're getting all their actions from. Must have been destroyed by something, like a meteor or something. That might be why they can't complete one of their tasks, because they can't get the like positioning where they have to go. Something like that. That is just my theory at the moment. This place is huge though, this cave. I will admit though, so far it does look like they were trying to terraform the planet, but not with humans. It's all robot made. Oh, I see something over there. That actually looks different. That's a green pot that he's holding. Unlike the other ones that were holding the like, red explosives. Ooh, a tree seed. Offline. Well, let's take the tree seed for now. Actually, it's not even a tree seed. It's one of those plants. Ooh, looks really nice. How the hell did the developers do all this shit in, like, six months, man? Like, what the hell? Uranite. And these can be broken down as well in the ore extractor, or the ore crusher. Oh, cool, a lake. An ice lake. Got anything down here? I just kind of imagine... Oh, there's a dark pit down there. That's what's down there. I kind of have imagined to see a giant creature frozen in ice. That'd be terrifying. I don't see anything, though. Would be cool to see that. There's so many ways to go. This cave is massive, man. Alright, this goes into a circle back to the ice lake. Right, I see another one of those robots over there. Let's go see what he says. Probably offline. There's also a ton of tier 2... What are those called? The solar panels. Alright, what do you say, mate? This one says something different. Transforming task. Anticipate future life forms. Log. My sensors estimate that, a, that larvae and early life forms will appear underground on this planet. Due to its exposure and cosmic winds, the larva will not be able to reproduce on the surface. Okay, that's good news actually to know, because that probably means that if we want to find larva... Well, I was gonna say, we'll probably have to go back down here, but... In the trailers, we did see some of them on top, so that is kind of interesting. What's also interesting is I cannot place them back down on this foundation here, so I have to place them off to the side, which is kind of annoying. But that's a lot of free power, heck yeah see a bunch of chests around. What do you have, mate? Bunch of goodies, some water. Actually, that's good. I'll take that right away. All right, this is for the larvas then, isn't it? A bunch of plants for them to hibernate, some mushrooms. There was some water here as well. The other crazy thing is there's still like an entire upper part to this as well. Of course, we had the original split too. If that other part leads to massive caves as well, that's going to be crazy. I think this leads out to, to where the dome is maybe? And leads to a rocket ship. And Zeolite. That is a big chunk. Yo, rocket man. What you doing here? That is just a bunch of stuff. Nothing too great, to be honest. I'm looking for anything that could be a message, please. Give me lore. Hello? No. But it may have just been a rocket to replenish whatever the heck the robots needed here. Uh, their landing skills are definitely not great. Okay, what the heck is up with this zeolite? Can we do anything with it? Doesn't seem like it. I see another one of the bots in the distance. And he's probably gonna say something like offline again. Yep, offline. 
Okay, and this just leads back to where the charging station is, and over there is our base. So let's head back to the giant lake. Right, I walked into a different offshoot. It seems like this is just a dead end. With a giant ice wall though, so that probably gets melted over time. I will admit though, this ice cave looks really cool. If it stays icy like this, I might just eventually set up base in this cave. Like, it's massive, so you could place then a giant bloody base around here. And there's also an opening that is kind of on the ice lake, though. But hey, that's where you can place on your rockets. Alright, let's see if we can get to the higher positions, like that ledge over there. And then there's one over here, too. Oh, okay, there's one of those eggs. Some of the petrified eggs. Now, we have to kind of keep in mind where they are. Because I think they'll become useful later. Because I imagine they have something to do with the story, right? And there's another giant ice wall here. Imagine how big this cave is going to be, man, when all of this is melted. Well, it doesn't seem like this can melt. Also, it doesn't really seem like we're supposed to be here in the first place. Kind of sinking into the rocks. Alright, well, let's try out one of the other ledges. Leads to more tunnel. Into a split again. Let's go towards the left again. It seems to go all the way up. Oh, that's a lot of uranite. Dang. Offline. Eh, classic. What's this, man? This is a backpack. A giant backpack on wheels. On feet, I guess. I guess they were trying to haul all this stuff out of here. There's also some more stuff over there. I mean, it's probably going to say offline again. That seemed like one of those robots that held a plant. Alright, it seems like the right side just led to a dead end here. Let's see if we can get up to that other dude holding the plant. I don't think so without anything like a jetpack or something. You know, for a planet where they said it was like 50% the size of the original. Feels like they meant this cave by itself is 50% the size of that planet. Because my god. Yeah, I think I have to jetpack up. I don't think we can actually go there. Alright, let's go back. Actually, never mind, I found something else. So I was gonna go back, which is that way. Uh, but I found something else here, to the left of that, right? This is where we walked up to find that petrified egg. There's another place here. Oh, well, never mind, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get out of here quick. It's deep snow, man. I'm out of here. All right, we're back where the cave originally split. That's all the way back to our base. Let's go this way. Bunch of ice around here. This tunnel is a lot longer for sure. Oh no, another split. Oh, this one seems to be blocked. Yeah, we need to melt this. Alright, then what's over here? More cave, hooray! Another giant ice... Well, not giant this time, but another lake. And instead of the lake, there's also this. This leads to the outside by the looks of it. Wait, this leads back? What? Oh, interesting. I guess we went originally over there. I guess if we follow it... Yeah, we followed it, followed it back out here. There does also seem to be something up here still. So we, like I said, originally we took the path down there. And what is up here? Uh, another point that we have to melt. That's ridiculous though. This place is huge. We haven't even discovered it all. Mainly because it just needs to melt. That is kind of what I expected though. And I will admit I'm glad that I went to check it out right now. Because it'd be so overwhelming to explore this entire cave when everything had melted. Also, it looks like the sky is getting pretty blue. Yeah, we're already at uh, almost 130 KTI. I don't remember how much we had when we originally entered that cave, but it kind of shows how long we've been in there. And something I really quickly want to make still is the antenna. Who knows, we got the tier 3 heater. Why? There we go. For some reason, we can only place it on the corner piece, which is kind of annoying. Then let's create this. We don't really have space on... Well, we do have space on it. There we go. Alright, Sentinel Corp, eh? Yeah, we are a convict once again, eh? This just basically says the same. It kind of sucks, I will admit. I kind of hope this was had a more original story or went into detail on some of the other corporations, not just Sentinel Corp. Wait a second. Do you guys see that all the way in the distance over there? That looks like a giant space station. I kind of want to check that out, but I don't think we have enough oxygen for that. We really need to get some better oxygen bottles. We received a new message. Oh. Let's quickly make the tier 3 of the oxygen. Gives us another 80 seconds, and let's check it out. 
Another one from Sentinel Corp. An invocation humble. So this is also in the Zeto Prime sector. So it's the same sector as the previous planet we had in the main game. Okay, so this planet was first owned by Starform Robotics. That probably explains why there are so many robots around. They were probably the ones that sent it out here. But now it's in a dispute and it's in ownership of the Galactic Eradication Court. Oh my god, this sector has over 800 planets. They can make a lot of DLC, man. Yeah, this again, this is a planet that is identified to have or to be able to candidate future colonization. Kind of similar to the previous, uh, like, main game stuff, to be honest. Nothing really too special here. Well, I just broke my legs. I was just gonna make some water. Jumped a bit too far. Uh, let's hope we find some food on the way. Alright, we're back around here where we found the original uh, robot trying to destroy something around here for resources. I guess we may as well go over there where all the sulfur-like stuff is at. It's the most colorful, so it's what I'm getting attracted to, although I see a bunch of steam coming from over there. I'll hold off on grabbing anything from the boxes unless I really want to have it. There is another robot over there, it seems to be holding a flower. Its message is probably going to be offline. Yeah, well, there's not much here. It seems like the titanium is covered in it as well. That's actually a cool detail. Ooh, and here is the sulfur. That's where we can get that. Right, let's go check out this robot, even though it's probably going to say... Offline, as I said. Yep. But it does have a, a blueprint chip. As well as a seed. Yeah, a pretty good seed too, for now. I found some water. Which actually kind of sucks, because I need food. Well, this looks a lot more yellow than it does in the main game, this area. And by that, I mean the, uh, like, sulfur area that you find there. Well, there we go. Finally found some food. So this area looks pretty cool. Looks a lot more interesting than the sulfur area you find on the other planet. And I see something over there. Some crates. Probably some shipping crates. And there's some more of those carrying bots. Oh boy. That is uh, a lot of stuff, man. Nothing else here. There's some, I guess, obsidian. Like some crusted lava, maybe. It is still kind of crazy to think, right? That they made this in such short period of time. Compared to the original game. I know they hired a lot more staff. Since 1.0, which was six months ago. But I'm uh, amazed at the work the devs did. So I found another cave. Ooh, what's this over here? It's glowing a bit? Never mind, that's just a bot. Move and upload Starform Robotics technology upon arrival. Last status. And then the find fog seems to slow down and breaking our parts. Okay, so that's probably why... Well, that's why they broke down here, at least. It's probably the sulfur. It doesn't really explain on the other ones, although... Well, who knows, actually. And this area also houses dolomites, so nothing interesting there. Another container over here. Ooh, this one actually has a message. Oh, what does it say? Come on, read. No, please, I wish to read it. Oh, man, it doesn't work currently. That sucks. I was looking forward to reading this one, because usually they don't have one. These particular robots. A lot of water, though, in this... Uh, in these storage containers. I guess in a way it makes sense, right? That they wouldn't have, like, food on them as much. Ooh, there's a spaceship over there. That could be worth checking out. I think that leads back towards the robot charging station, which is near our base. Why does this area look so weird? Well, I wasn't gonna check it out, but now I have to, because it looks like there's some lines. That does not look natural. And yeah, that's a very thin thread. It's like someone scribbled all over this place. What the heck? Also, these look different. These are green. I guess that's uranium, right? That we can get from these. Oh, nice. We have a blue skies. And we now have an advanced crafting station. There's also a giant drill bot over there. This spaceship actually landed perfectly for once. Not like most of the other things that seem to have crashed. Now, does that mean there's other people on this planet? Uh, probably not, but I would actually love to see at least some human-made buildings and some actual, like, human lore. Because the robots are cool and all, but the robots don't really provide much, to be honest. Well, not much lore, anyway. Can we actually go into this ship? Right, I'm gonna perform a strategy, which uh, a lot of people probably haven't seen yet. It's actually a pretty good strategy for getting up. It's uh, literally just flying up like this. <laughs> 
So you have this unstuck button. If you map it to a key that you can easily press, you can just kind of fly up anywhere you want. I tend not to use it as much unless, uh, you know, situations I suppose like this. I guess we're supposed to have a... Ah, oh, damn. Can't even do anything here anyway. They're smart. Damn devs. Like I said, we probably need like a jetpack or something to get up here. But we also need to tier 2 uh, deconstructor, which we don't have. Alright. Keep your secrets another day, spaceship. But I will be back. Mark my words. Right, I think I also saw a drill in the back there. I was going to go towards the volcano, but then I remembered seeing it. Oh, it's this area. We've seen this in the trailer as well. But they do have some giant message boards up there. All right, Project Starform Robotics Technology. Last status, no threat detected. Cosmic Storm incoming. This event is a very high chance to completely damage our circuits. All right, so the Cosmic Storm is... What is causing all the breakages in this case? These are fucking huge though, Jesus Christ. That robotics company was not messing about. My question is, do they all say the same? Yeah. All right, I think in that case, let's head towards the volcano. Well, we have arrived to all the lava. All right, this place also has a bunch of bauxite. I'm really that interested in that, to be honest. I think it's a good feature that they have the uh, new ores that break down into the old ones. But it honestly makes it a lot less interesting. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, well, can I get close to that? Ooh, obsidian. There's stuff over the other side. I think we are supposed to have the jetpack at this point, but you know what? Screw it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just a tiny little outcrop. We've seen this in the trailers, too. The trailers actually seem to have spoiled a lot, though, I will admit. Eh. Alright, climb up. What do you say, offline? God damn it, man. Such good places to hide, like, extra lore and details, and it just says offline. It is such an annoying walk, though, to go all the way back. Alright, let's try to stay on this side as much as possible. And it's getting dark, but you can barely see anything, even though I have the flashlight on. These rocks do look pretty cool, though. Oh, nice, uridium. Well, I admit, we were kind of in need of that for heaters. It's good to know that it's over here. This looks ridiculous, man. Looks crazy. I see a bit of a golden glow there, but I think that's just lava. Don't see anything on the pillars themselves. Yeah, there's nothing around here. But there was a cave, like, around here still. Not sure how safe this is. Yep. Ouch, ouch. Well, this just leads to a large iridium cave. So it seems to lead to probably the other side, honestly. To where we started. Also, there are these geodes again. There's probably iridium in there. Man, I want to jump down here so bad. And actually see ground, I just... I just don't know if I should. We have so many supplies. I mean, I could survive this using the tactic I showed earlier. I don't know if I should be doing that. Seems kind of cheaty, to be honest. But I will admit, it is grabbing my attention. These giant holes and then showing that there actually is something down there. I think we'll leave that for another day. We're gonna need a jetpack for it, for sure. Yeah, that's where the sulfur area was, so that's where we started. It looks like we can go up. Something I have noticed, though, is the world is rather empty. Now, I'm guessing that this DLC is going to be like early access status as well, which would be kind of funny, but I think that is just the way it is going to be. Because it seems like there's supposed to be like a lot more stuff. There's probably going to be more lore, right? All those things that say offline, they'll probably get lore added to them later. There aren't any secret bases so far that I've seen. Where the fuck am I at right now, though? I don't think we're supposed to be on this side of the map, per se. There's, like, no ore spawning here, which is generally a sign that you shouldn't be there. I can also kind of see the end of the world here. So, yeah, I think I walked into the wrong direction. And that is without using the uh, unstuck button feature. That's just me wonking around. You can really just get kind of anywhere in this game if you really try to. Even without using some of the glitches. Because what I've noticed over the years is the, de the devs are good at making games. I don't deny that. What they're not that good at though is making collision or the terrain. Because you can fall through stuff, you can kind of clip through things here and there. Sometimes you can kind of just go to climb your way up. Because even though it looks like a straight path, it actually isn't collision-wise. 
You know, I was gonna say, what the heck is that weird thing in the distance? But no, that's our base. <laughs> Alright, let's go figure out what we need in order to create that tier 2 destruction chip. Or deconstruction chip. Because with that, we can officially open up those doors that lead into that spaceship. And that has me pretty interested. Also, time to decode. Decode a lot. Ooh, tier 2 jetpack. Defense, finally. Agility boots, tier 3. We cannot make those yet. I would say we can also not make the tier 2 deconstruction ship, but we did unlock the advanced crafting station. We probably need that. So what do we need? Aluminum and some magnesium. And then we of course need the space for this thing. Did not really build my base well enough, I don't think. Not for any of this, honestly. Can we? Yeah, we can shove it like right here, sweet. Alright, we don't have any rocket engines either, and I don't feel like making those at the moment. We can make a better oxygen tank and a better backpack, but not a tier 2 deconstruction chip. Now, I don't think that is in here, per se, right? No. We also don't really have any of the super alloy to upgrade our backpack or oxygen. I did see a bunch of super alloy around there, though. At least in chests, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't really remember. I don't think I saw them laying on the ground to super alloy. I specifically saw them in the chests. However... Going more that away, there should be some just laying on the ground. I'm also going to grab some of the iridium that I keep seeing. It's time where we need some rods in order to make some better heaters. I think a good spot to check would be these large containers as well. And another one of those explosive robots. Yeah, couldn't move away from the explosion, so it blew itself up. But I think currently for the upgrades we wanted, we only needed six. And I think we had two of them at the base, so technically I think we have it. So any extras would be great. This one is kind of crazy though, this ice melts at 200 mil TI. I think that it's regular TI, unlike the heat. So that in and of itself is already pretty interesting. I will say though, we explored most of the planet so far. At least I think so. There isn't much story yet, which is kind of sad. And hey, let's make some upgrades. So, upgrade the oxygen tank. 370, heck yeah. And the backpack. That holds so much more space. We did also unlock lockers now, so that is great. Means I can just dump a bunch of stuff in there. Probably need to reorganize at some point. Kind of messy in here. However, I'm not planning to actually keep this base much longer anyway. Which means we're going to have to look at where to go next. Now, I was thinking maybe inside the ice cave. That would be a really cool base. I think that's kind of annoying, to be honest. We haven't explored much over there yet, so I might just do that. I mean, there is that large structure over there that I want to check out. So hopefully there's a bit more of a flat terrain for a mega structure. Uh, let's just make our way over there. I had to bring the supplies to build myself a living compartment and the door so we have infinite oxygen. I should probably also bring some water or at least intake some. I did finally start the food grower, so my hope is that when we get back, at least we have something. We have one eggplant. Oh, sweet. There is some food. We are saved. Well, saved for now, anyway. Wasn't there a giant zeolite right here? Okay, what the heck is up with this zeolite? Can we do anything with it? Doesn't seem like it. Hold up a second. Where did that go? Or is this a different rocket? No, it's the exact same one. Where the hell did the zeolite go? I'm not going crazy, am I? Like, we did see that last time we were here? I think the game's playing tricks on me, guys. We've been here for a couple days. I'm already going insane. Alright, climb up the mountain. And uh, goat our way up. Can we do that here too? No? Yes? Kinda? Well, not yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, good. So it should be, like, up this ridge, I think. It's probably a more legit way of getting there, to be fair. Right, here's the dome again. I think we'd have to, like, go all the way around. But we can take this little shortcut. And here's another one of these planter bots. Take his microchip. And he's probably, yep, offline. All right, so it has to be around here, right? Yeah, there it is. There's actually a lot more stuff back there, too. So what are these things, then? Because from a distance, or at least from the original trailer, I thought they were, like these rover places where you store the rover to garages. However, it seems like, no, these are just these maintenance areas. Seems like this is another charging station here. 
and also has a couple of these tier 2 solar panels. So I'll of course be taking those, placing them back down. That way they count for our power. Any chests in this place? No? Alright, well let's check out this station. It actually looks like a giant ship. I thought it was more of a stationary place. Ooh, circuit boards, eh? I was kind of hoping that this would be a treasure trove of the blueprint microchips. But I'll take those as well. Some more food, sweets, some aluminum, and super alloy. I will be taking those. There's another one of these robots. This one does have a microchip as well as some food. Alright, I think we're good for food for a sec here. Yeah, definitely. Some broken heaters. I would place them down or take their supplies. I don't think we can just yet. Ooh, is this a fusion reactor? Yes. Two of them, eh? Can't do anything with that just yet. I don't have the stuff for it. Now here's a tier 2 heater, and that is kind of more interesting. But I don't think we can actually like place them down again, right? No, it needs to be inside of a building. That does kind of suck. The fusion reactor probably opens up one of those doors. What is this? Finally something human? We need to outrun Sentinel Corp with our autonomous terraforming technology. They said over and over. But the robots just aren't ready yet. They forced me to send my little babies out so far away. But they won't make it, even if I create them as best I can to be able to terraform a planet. We just need a little more time. Is there a chance one of them misses me? Okay, well it doesn't say who it is, also doesn't say year I guess. But that seems like uh, dude is an employee, but very passionate. Alright, I do think we can probably make it all the way back, right? With our oxygen. So what I'll do is I'll collect those heaters and just store them in here for now. We do kind of need more heat regardless, but this is actually good. Okay, if we find one more titanium, we can actually make another tier 2 heater. Now, there's probably some in these crates that are scattered about, right? Yes. The biodome, eh? That's actually not that bad of an unlock. We should probably place that down soon. Spacesuit display. I actually haven't found a single one of those yet. And display case. I also haven't found a single effigy yet. You know, the golden statues, which is also kind of interesting. Ooh, pulsar quartz. Those are the first ones we've seen here. I'll admit, though, nothing really too interesting around this place. I mean, there's the fusion reactor, which uh, interests me quite a bit. So a fun little change from Sentinel Corp to this robotics uh, corporation is their microchip blueprints. They're not storing them in these tiny boxes. Oh boy, that's a lot of food. They sort of mostly in these. And also, I see clothing over there. We literally just unlocked it, so that is great. You know, I don't have any more space. I'll have to go back. Alright, something I do hope that they are gonna do with this game is we figure out more why Sentinel Corp and this uh, robotics were trying to, like, outpace each other, right? This is the first human message we found, which is quite interesting that their corporation is pushing this dude, like, hard to terraform this planet. Clearly, it didn't work, you know? There we go, deconstruction tier 2. Sweet. Yeah, clearly it, it didn't work. I hope they will elaborate on that a little more. I haven't really seen any, like, hidden bunkers or anything where people try to survive. Seems like this is an obsidian area. And there is a bunch of glowy blue stuff that's probably osmium. If I were to guess. Yep, that's osmium. There is something, there's a bunch of things over there actually. And there's another dome. Ooh, another petrified egg. I've been writing down the, well not really the coordinates, but kind of around where we found them. If they turn out to be useless, then, well, ripperoni. I imagine they aren't going to be more useful. Uh, well, I have what I needed from the blueprint chip, so I don't really care much anymore. Bunch of explosives. This probably, is there a message on this thing? Probably gonna say that he got stuck, and then he blew up. Yep. Alright, let's go back to base. We dump all our supplies. I wanna see if I can make that tier 2 blueprint chip, and then of course make it, and then we'll come back with a new house, I guess. With how far everything is spaced apart, and then there's not really much there except for well, hills. I really think this map was built mainly for the rover, so we'll have to check that out as well. I do see an opening up there. I don't think we can get to it from down here. It probably leads back into that ice cave. I do kind of want to check that out, though. I'm not sure if we're supposed to get to it from this side. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't mean we cannot get to it, of course. We just do a little bit of 
I hope I'm stuck jumping mechanics. And we are here. I think actually this is the platform that I was looking at a little while back. And I wasn't sure how to get up here from the other side. There is another egg here though. Yeah, this leads back to the giant frozen lake. It means there is a cart around here somewhere. All right, what do you say offline? Uh, give me the blueprint chip. So I know I said I probably wasn't going to be building here, but also I was going to be building here. I'm still debating whether or not I should or not. Uh, it, is, it does look pretty cool. Is there a bunch of super alloy here now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just think going back to it is going to be kind of a hassle in most cases, because it is in a cave, of course. So what we would need are the teleporters, right? Well, something tells me we're not going to make it all the way home due to this little detour. Yep, that's going to be the first death. No, our house is right there. I can see it. Welp. Oh, man. We're all the way back here. <laughs> Of course, this is the last house we built, so this is where we respawn. Ooh, jetpack tier 3. Right, let's beeline it for the house now. Man, I can't believe that's our first death. Hey, it's not hardcore, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go fetch the items that we lost from there. They should be hanging around in the box, I think. Alright, we got all the stuff back. Alright, let's see what we need for the tier 2 deconstruction chip. Zeolite and methane cartridge. Okay, so we need to have the gas extractor. Pressure is what we need to upgrade in order to get that. And then zeolite. I don't know exactly where to get zeolite. And right, we have everything again for the living compartments. Let's go check out that obsidian area. Oh, would you look at that? I found a new type of robot. This one's holding a crate. Terraforming task. Looking for the best possible place to install trans uh, star form robotics, automatons, or autonomous terraforming technology. Last status, processing internal data, log. Is this task even doable? Why would we want to change a planet? What is the current status of DR23? I'm going offline mode. Where is DR23? I actually didn't know that they had specific uh, names. Ooh, another petrified egg here. It's right behind the giant space station. Is that another one over there? Yeah, it looks like it. It means we've found four so far. In this episode alone, anyway. I think that means six or so in total. Alright, I arrived at the dome. This dude's offline. He has a microchip. Offline, too. This just seems like a copy-paste from the other one, to be honest. And yeah, nothing really special here. I kind of wish there were some war monitors, though. Oh, besides the ones that say offline, of course. Yeah, yeah, hydration critical. We might just die here again. Not a good episode so far. <laughs> All for death anyway. There's another egg. Oh man. You know what we should have done? Oh, never mind actually. I was gonna say, you know what we should have done is made a house. I mean, we still should have probably done that. But hey, apparently you respawn where you last built the house as well. That is quite interesting. I did not know that. There's another egg over there. Okay, there might be a ton of them in this biome alone. Alright, well, we're out of that biome. Then what is up here? This is still a decent way away from the volcano, so this is unexplored territory. Well, for me, anyway. And look, the water that we needed a little while back. Let's climb to the top of one of these rocks. I spot something over in the distance there. And another charging station over there. We might check that out. Well, we will check that out. And then I see something over there. What is this location, then? Oh, he holds two things. Offline. God damn it, that's not what I want to know, man. Okay, so this is a launching platform. The interesting thing is, right, we can interact with this, it looks like. As you can see, it light up. I wonder if that means we can do something here later. Or if that is just a byproduct of them using the, like, model and everything. Oh, it's a rocket that we saw. Oh, well, not the best of items. And then another one of these planter guys. This is a tree seat. That's a good tree seat, actually, as well. Alright, something about this corner is speaking to me. Well, it doesn't seem like it. This place looks kinda... Very purposefully built for not housing anything. Alright, we're at the charging station. There seem to be a ton of these tier 2 solar panels. However, though, there doesn't seem to be anything else here that is of interest. 
that just leads back down to the volcano area. We've been there before. We need a tier 2 deconstruction ship for that ship right there. I think with that we probably mapped out the entire planet. This is quite a nice flat area here too. I think this is pretty centrally located as well. It's just on a very high cliff. Oh no, never mind. You can get up here and down here. What the hell happened here? Ah, just a dude with a bomb again. Classic man. You know, they keep speaking about these rare resources that supposedly around here. There never are rare resources around here. Or not specifically where they are at, anyway. Yeah, looking at this, this could also be a pretty good spot. We just have to build some good stairs up, I think. Unless we have the jetpack and we can just fly up here. Yeah, I think with that we mapped out the complete planet. Except, of course, for the things that are blocked off to us due to ice. And as well as the tier 2 deconstruction ship. Actually, no, thinking about it, there was still some stuff in the volcanic area where we could jump down. And we could jump down some pits, and there was what looked like ground still that I have not found a legitimate way towards except jumping down. Which we won't survive, so not gonna try to do that. Alright, I think in order to explore actual new content, we're gonna need the jetpack, which means we need two rocket engines. Now, I only have enough of the iridium, I think, for just one rod. Yeah, we only have five, which means we're going to have to collect some. So this is what I want to be exploring. I want to jump down one of these holes, but I'm pretty sure I need the jetpack in order to survive a fall like that. You do see some ground. I saw some glimmery uh, iridium as well. So you could technically survive down there. Don't know how the heck to get back out, though, but it's going to be another problem for another day. Well, for today, I suppose. I see a bunch of iridium here. There we go, we finally have the jetpack. We don't have any space for it, so we're going to need to upgrade our exoskeleton too. Alright, to make the upgrade, we need some osmium. That is something I want to be working on too. Let's get the exoskeleton tier 2 first. That way we can actually wear this. We can finally fly again, so that is fantastic. Now, I want to get the second tier real quick, and we need some osmium anyway. So let's head over all the way to the other side of the map and go collect some of that. Alright, we've come to the most northern part. Yeah, I can already see the osmium glow blue. Sweet. You know, I'll say though, it is kind of surprising that there's not really much here. I mean, there's a ton of those eggs around. But no secret case that I can find, or really anything. There we go, we got the tier 2 jetpack. Well, let's stock up on some supplies. And let's check out what is at the bottom of this volcano. Alright. Geronimo! Well, more iridium by the looks of it. Also, we can go jump down... Ow, ow, ouch. I was gonna say we can jump deeper, but... That just looks like lava to me. And that will potentially kill us for sure. This one has a pretty open hole, though. Can we see anything special? Just, it looks like a lake. I kind of do want to jump down there just to check it out. But let's first explore this part up here. We have some bean seeds. We haven't found those yet, so that is good. This is uh, quite a large cave, dang. Ooh, another dome. Please tell me that we're finally finding some lore. So interesting, this robot dude was holding a broken jar. Whatever is in there, though, uh, seemed to have gotten out. Now, it does look like he was holding probably one of the plants. Information task. Anticipate full, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, so this is what the ice cave said as well. Larva cannot live at the uh, top. Now, this place looks different. Please get in. Yeah, these are all working to preserve larva life down here. This one is offline. This one has some... Ooh, a bio nuggy. I'll be taking those because I remember those being quite annoying. What is this? DNA manipulator. Zeolite. Heck yeah, boy. A bunch of tree seeds. I don't have the space for this, man. But that's some uh, that's some good find right here. It really looked like they were trying to make this into a good livable habitat for the larva. I also never deconstructed this base, so... We might have an issue here with space, regardless. Or with oxygen as well. Oh, nice, a rocket engine? Another flower? 
Some older flowers, anyway. They're pretty good. An oxygen multiplier fuse. I mean, don't mind if I do. A super alloy rod? Goddamn. Why do we keep finding so much good stuff? Ooh, a frog pond. Another robot. He's not offline, but he does talk about uh, the larva again. You know what? Iridium is pretty easy to come by, so I'll just drop that for now. Oh, what is this? This looks like our home biome. But why is it underground is the question. It leads into a sandstorm. There is an egg down here. Two eggs. Right next to each other. A lot of aluminum here. That is great. Some robot dudes here. He is offline. Doesn't surprise me. Another rocket thruster, yes. Another frog pond here, too. And now I do think about it, though. I have not seen those above ground. It is kind of annoying that I have to rush back towards the base now. Oh, we just made it. Good. Let's see. Let's put some of the easy-to-get stuff in this. If we can make two more inventory... You know what? Screw it. Aluminum has to go. This way we can actually take this base. Because it is hella annoying to have to fly all the way back. You know, I was wondering why the volcano was such a small... What the hell happened? Why is everything so fuzzy suddenly? Why am I swimming? Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> so yeah, I was wondering why the volcano cave was so small, but I guess that's because uh, there is a lot more stuff underground than we realized. Oh, they do have the tiny boxes. Oh, this is where we get a specific blueprint chip. This one must say something special then, right? God damn, why is it offline? Alright, this one also houses the trade space rocket. And there is one up there. Actually, you know what? Instead of building all the way up here, as you're probably supposed to be doing. If we can even interact with this, actually. No, we can't. I think it's just the core then. I jumped all the way up there for nothing. Yeah, a lot of it is... Oh, we found the tree. From the trailer. I was wondering where this was. It's actually really flat around here, too. I mean, another base location? Perhaps. Though I don't remember if it was getting flooded around here. But it does look really cool. Alright, lover will not reproduce on the surface, we know. There's some multiple ways to go. I'm gonna go this way, because the cave looks pretty interesting. Man, another uranium rod? Why must the game make it so hard? Choose. Oh god, it gets dark in here. Also, this is where Zeolite spawns, so that is fantastic. I imagine this... This doesn't look like it would house Zeolite, though. It's glowing. Probably Osmium, if I were to guess. Yep, it does, and my god, some rods. What do you have to say, my dude? A larva will not survive up on the surface. So, okay, this leads back to here. And this dude has a tree and probably says... Oh, uh, yeah, larva again. Oh, this looks messed up. Offline. Looks like the tree kind of went around it, but it's kind of interesting that he is on top there. And this place has so much good loot. And I still haven't found the bloody exit. This cave is probably larger than the ice cave was. That's for dang sure. Or at least it's more accessible. Right, we're back at the Zeolite area. There's another egg. I know I keep mentioning these. And I imagine they're useful for something later. But I'm not 100% sure. But I would imagine so, right? Like, they look kind of special. A bunch of explosives. Yeah, it seems like they were trying to bomb this area with some pretty large dudes. Yeah, so he cannot move away. That's just kind of normal. Something, actually, that I was wondering about. If we grab an explosive, can we, like, blow up these larger explosives with it? No. Okay. Now, this one is, I think, the first one that actually makes sense, to be honest. There is actually rare loot around here, so it makes sense that they wanted to blow it up. And this leads back to this awesome tree. Alright, I think the only place we haven't really explored is where that water was at. I'm just kind of hoping that that is the exit, to be honest. Although there was also more over, I think, that direction where the trees were. Let's go check that out first. Well, what looked like mushroom stump tree things, anyway. They look petrified. I think there was another path around here anyway. Yeah, there's this area with a 
a lot of the eggs, but also well, what looks like a sandstorm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that scared the hell out of me, man. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. Also, that just straight up killed us. I right, do not go there. That was terrifying. Did not expect the... Uh, I did not expect that, that's for damn sure. Alright, well, it's just like a tiny bit of water. <gasps> I see something. Oh my god, you don't know how happy this makes me, seeing a ladder. Ah, uh, some more space food around here, oxygen. I'm gonna need that. What does this say? The task is harder than I thought. Those drones are really smart, and most of the time, they are doing their task with great intelligence. It's not always easy to hide the modifications I did on them, how I lured them or hacked them, but I already handle some of them. The star... I think that's supposed to say star form and not star form? <laughs> this star form robotics technology is really impressive. No wonder Sentinel Corp is scared. Ooh, okay, so we have some random hacking dude that is trying to take him over. Alright, interesting. I was hoping to find stuff like this somewhere. Finally did. Didn't say who it was, though. But if you find any other messages from this guy, it's gonna be uh, hard to figure out. A bunch of ice is here again. 200 mil TI. Oh no, did I get myself stuck? In a place where we need to have a ton of TI? Yeah, because this is like the last area that we explored. This is probably above where these domain geodes are. Well, I think there's no other way but to kind of glitch through here. Luckily, we do have an unstuck button. Yeah, this just leads out here. That is both really cool, but also really sad that we explored this way before we were supposed to. Because we didn't get in there by glitching or anything. We just jumped down the vents. Also, that is massive, though, because the volcano was pretty far away. On the other hand, though, we didn't really find anything... Too new, except for that one dude that apparently hacks the robots. I'm almost wondering why we were getting so many high-level stuff suddenly, and I think I now know why. We were definitely not supposed to be there yet. Oh sweet, tier 5 backpack? Coulda come in a bit sooner, mate. Well, let's just upgrade that. We have the materials for it now. At least, I hope so? Yeah, we have some super alloy rods, but we need... Where is that deconstructing thing? Can't even make the recycling machine. Okay, well, we can't. I think something that is quite interesting, though, is that this was sent three years before we got to the planet. I think Sentinel Corp did not hesitate to send us here the moment they could. Yeah, and it was Starform Robotics, meaning they had a typo uh, in this message here. All right, I think my next big goal is going to be the Tier 2 deconstruction ship, so we can get into uh, one of the spaceships that was over there. I guess getting a lot more heat as well, as there were some areas where we needed that. So I'm going to be doing that stuff off camera, of course, because, well, kind of boring just to sit here, make drills, make power, make heaters, stuff like that. The secret of what lies beyond the 200 MTI is sadly gone, or at least on that part. I finally managed to get some methane, which means we can get the deconstruction tier 2. With this, we can finally figure out what was behind that blocked door where the spaceship is. We also got a new message from the Galactic Accreditation Tribunal, uh, basically saying that whoever terraforms Humble first uh, is the owner of it. And I'm talking about the corporation, which in our case, seeing as we are associated with Sentinel Corp, the planet will be custody of Sentinel Corp. However, what I wanted to show real quick is how much the ice mountain here has changed, but also not really changed. Uh, a while back, before we even explored the stuff in the volcano, some of the ice cave opened up to us, but then got straight up blocked again. So as you can see, it's melting. We can now finally get to the osmium. There is this place up here. This is one of the areas that I decided to go and have a look. However, a lot of it is still under ice. But if we go a little farther, we discovered that we can actually jump down here now. This will lead to a new section. And my god, it's dark here because it's nighttime. But anyway, this leads to a ravine. And we can actually get up here. And I think officially you'd have to get up here by getting to the plant stage. And then probably some sort of vines will grow is, uh, is what I imagine anyway. But you can get up here by using the jetpack. Then there's some osmium up here. 
And then there was this. So this cart dude, basic dude, you know, David explosives, blew himself up. Because he probably couldn't move. As well as some sort of like upgrade or charging station again. And then if you go more that way, uh, you'll fall through the ground, which not ideal. Also, the entire top of this cave has melted away, which is pretty crazy. As well as on the inner lake, it's starting to melt now, so the top is opened up more. There was also a cave here, which houses uranium. But I think it needs to melt here a bit more before we can do anything, as there is a bot in the wall. Now we reach the water stages, of course, so there's even a little waterfall, which looks pretty good. We're currently at the moss stage, or at least we're working on that. So everything is turning green, which is pretty cool. Then I noticed that this area around the dome has changed. Huh? Changed even more? I haven't restarted the game since the last one. What the fuck? This is what terraformation does. So I'll show the clip of what I found last time. Also, something interesting is this base was never floating this high. Neither was that, to be honest. It looks like they terraformed this area a little bit. And then, yeah, as you can see, this is where it originally was at, because you can still see the iron. But it seems to be sinking down. Now, that is kind of hype, I will admit. Anyway, there was a cave up here, which housed a bunch of uh, pulsar quartz, as well as some sulfur and osmium. Alright, well, without any further ado, let's head over to that spaceship. Also, we officially reached 200 MTI, which means these things should be melting. Which means we should be able to officially go down below the Earth now. Of course, we already did that and got softlocked, but now all this ice should melt and we should not be able to get softlocked no more. But seeing that change, though, I wonder how much else has changed on this planet. Oh, wow. There's a massive lake here now. I doubt that there is anything underneath here, right? Like, we already explored this when it was ground. Something I will admit, though, even though lore-wise there isn't much, because these robots don't really say a lot, the devs did a really good job at terraforming the planet over time. Alright, let's get on top of here. There's also some boxes. I'm not sure if these were here before. Probably, because it doesn't house that many good stuff. But we can finally open up the doors. We needed a tier 2 for this one. Tier 2 deconstruction. They are taking a while to disappear. Dang. So what is all in here? Ooh, nice. Ooh, there's actually a bunch of good stuff. Then some robots. They have circuit boards. Pretty good. Oh, finally something... Wait, what? This is from Sentinel Corp? I did not... Ex Wait, this was from 3055. That's when that hacker was on this planet. A mission debriefing. Extremely confidential. Your task requires the utmost discretion. Starform Robotics is currently deploying their new autonomous terraforming system on this planet. They are using various drones and technologies to do so. You need to understand, analyze, and find their technology, and do what you can to interfere with their progress, ideally corrupting the drones and making them non-functional. Once done, leave the planet as discreetly as possible. Oh, so this is how the hacker got on the planet. It was using this ship. This is actually pretty fucking huge for what looked like one dude. And like this is what he used to interfere with them. Because the base down below in the caves didn't really seem like it was that big. Oh cool, there's a spacesuit here. Bunch of other goodies like tier 2 fertilizer. There seem to be other rooms, but I don't think we can actually get to those. Also, again, kind of sad, but we've seen these things out of order, right? So now we've read this. This does match up with the time frame that we found the other note from the guy that was hacking the drones. He set up down below the Earth, or below Humble. There doesn't seem to be any fusion reactor, so I don't think we can go into these closed-off doors. Kind of glitching through the top, it doesn't even seem like there's anything here anyway. Now, for the people that haven't seen the previous episode... I'll be heading over to that base in a second. I just kind of want to check something out in the volcano, see if anything changed. I will say though that message that we found earlier already kind of implied that Sentinel Corp was behind it. This definitely confirms it though. Alright, well, this still says offline, so nothing else changed here, sadly. Which is one of the things that I find already sad. Because, like, there could be so much more lore, but ultimately we haven't found much. Yeah, it seems like Sentinel Corp wanted to take control of this planet. 
they hired a dude to mess around with the robots on here from Starform Robotics. And Sentinel definitely got what they wanted because not long after Starform lost control of this planet and Sentinel could actually go in and claim it. And that is what we're doing here right now. Also, it seems like there's a lot of water in this cave now. Still doesn't really seem to be anything special here, though. All right, I jumped down one of these vents. Again, not recommended to do this before the uh, ice melted that you need a 200 MTI for. Well, it certainly seems like it has changed a bit since we were last here. Now, that's the moss mainly doing its work. I suppose while we're here anyway, there is something else I wanted to check out. And it was that sandstorm area. Because now that we officially have 200 MTI, that means we should be technically allowed to visit this place. So I wonder if that is still around the sandstorm. Yeah, this was the home of that hacker we found. And this is just his log basically saying that he did his job and these robots are crazy advanced. You know, just like the main game though, some things really don't make any sense. And that's something like this, right? Like how the heck... Why would they build this stuff down here and launch it down here? Makes like absolutely no sense. What is also quite interesting is in the trailer there was a bunch of water around this tree and a bunch of roots. I don't see that either. Alright, we're back at this tree location. What is that? Is that a mushroom? That's one big mushroom, alright. But that is a mushroom. I think this is, yeah, it's still sandstormy. Yep, and we still die from it. So I suppose sadly nothing changed here. Except now we're dying. Yeah, I think we can actually officially get out now. Yeah, we can kind of just go over. Sweet. And that just leads back here. I think what is interesting though, is that sandstorm area, I think is like right underneath here. Wait, what the heck is that? There is a root grown here since we have left. Yeah, I think the sandstorm area is down below here. Either that or it's where the tree is at. But my god, these roots, they grow bloody quickly. Well, I guess I'll combine this every once in a while and take some pictures. So we can see the process over time in the next episode. There also seems to be some trees forming over here. Something's being pushed up over there. Seems like some of the zeolite is sticking out. Oh, this seemed to have melted in this cave. Means we can finally see what this dude was doing here. He looks kind of special. Ooh, what does he have? It looks like a fusion reactor of some kind. It's pretty nice that everything seems to line up. <laughs> Just as I was starting to record this. Ooh, uranium rods? That's some good stuff too. Terraforming task. Extracting minerals to create energy generators in order to... Power of future installations of Starform Robotics Autonomous Terraformation Technology. Uh, last status. My sensors indicate that the temperatures in this area are not suitable for my survival. I am cold. And then this leads somewhere. Not anywhere. I'm guessing this just leads to the giant lake, right? Makes the most amount of sense to me. Yep, it does. Alright, well at this point, speed run home, I suppose. Oh, cool. Mushrooms are growing all over the place here. Yeah, I gotta admit, while Humble is not big on the lore, it seems like we are getting tons of, like, visual changes, which is pretty cool. Even more so than the original game. Also, this is the only droid with a name, so I wonder if the other dude that he was looking for gets uncovered by this. Right, I'll be leaving it up over here. In the next episode, this should have probably gone all the way down. And that is where we'll be picking up, of course. I think the next goal should probably be fusion reactor battery things. And these things, the fusion energy cells, that is actually a lot farther off than I thought it would be. But that is probably going to be one of the main big things we're going to want to unlock. But to explore more of the world, I think we need those batteries. Because there was one fusion reactor. I think the rest will just open up over time, I would imagine. That's what it looks like anyway. We just need to wait until everything is melted. That sinkhole has gone down. Stuff like that. 
Planet Humble changes a lot, and I'm not just talking about these trees. As you can see in the distance, some stuff has changed over there. See a bunch of zeolites sticking out right now. There is a giant pit over here. Of course, there's a giant lake back there. All these dead trees now have uh, some sort of fungal growing on them. And of course, the entire ice mountain. Well, that's gone. There's no more ice. We also got a new message from Starform Robotics. So let's go check that out. We know what you did to our robots. Our technology of autonomous terraformation is the state of the art. How can you stop such a noble endeavor just for profit? This is completely illegal and your actions will be taken to prevent you to continue your vile task. The interesting thing is that this is a new one, meaning this is um, specifically sent to us and we were not the ones that messed with their robots. No, 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 that was a hacker sent by Sentinel Corp. So, uh, potentially, we're gonna be fucked over here, because they're gonna blame us, and I doubt Sentinel Corp is really gonna be like, Nah, man. It wasn't him. Anyway, I thought what we could do today is take a little look around Humble, and see how much has changed. To me, it looks like these are some of the final stages of what is truly changing in the world itself. Because the ice has melted, roots have been popping up, I think the only thing that can realistically change in this planet, besides like the normal, you know, getting bugs and stuff like that, is the sand back here. I think the sand is eventually going to go down. You see a tree over there too, and it is kind of acting up right now. So I think something is happening to it. And the reason why I think this is because you still have that sandstorm down there. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff growing down here. So eventually this has to go down, right? We can walk there. Yeah, let's go towards the Ice Mountain first, as that is kind of the biggest change, in my opinion. This egg still seems to be petrified, so I guess we have to go either up in TI still, or there is something else we need to do. So what the heck is going on over here? I know that there's a vine that goes up to the top. What the heck are these plants, though? That looks ridiculous. I thought there still is some ice back here. A lot of the osmium is showing now. Alright, let's go up to the top. But there still is some snow back here as well. This seems to just lead down to... Well, I guess the osmium down there? This must be one of the alternate paths that has fully opened up now. That is kind of what I hate about this though. Is a lot of it is just alternate paths, really. And that is kind of boring. So this snow hasn't disappeared yet. Making me think that there is something suspicious under here. Because they were trying to blow this up here as well. And this has fully transformed, so the entire top is off now. Didn't really show much new stuff, but it looks pretty nice. I also placed down a Ord Extractor Tier 2. Just because we kind of want to have these things. The Uranite. The Uraninite. Something like that. Uh, I was running low on Super Alloy. Wow. This changed a lot. When the lake is in now, it's unfrozen. This looks really nice. I'm gonna scour around this place because we haven't really... Well, of course we haven't explored around here without the ice. I think first things first, let's take a nosedive into the water. This looked crazy deep. I guess it isn't that deep. It looked a lot deeper when all the ice was over it. There also isn't really anything down here. But this would be great for an algae location. I will say though, these areas look really cool, and I love that it transformed so much. But also, I really like the look of this ice cave before, with a small opening. So it is kind of sad to see all that go. Well, it seems like we can go up here, so something new finally opened up. This is right above the giant lake. Looks like this just goes back outside to the top where we were before, where the snow was still around. But then what is over here? More trees. I wonder how the heck these are growing. Because there's a bunch of rock here, man. That's it? Just an egg? Any destructible walls or anything? No, just some messed up collision. Alright. Interesting. Interesting for the wrong reasons, I suppose. You'd think they place something more interesting down here, though. Seeing as it takes quite a while to get here. I guess this cave just ended up having nothing really, nothing new. Well, nothing new lore-wise anyway. Now, seeing as they place these eggs in very specific locations, they seem to be really special. 
So maybe there is more to them than the tier three ore crusher said. That is what I hope at least. Right, so this is where they landed a rocket for supplies. It got all pulled up by roots and there's a bunch of zeolite now. And down below, we have been here before. This is where they were trying to blow open that zeolite deposit uh, when we were in the caves. However, while I was looking around, there are some actual entrances now. And I don't think I've seen those before. I wonder if they lead to somewhere special. But probably not. This just looks like the regular cave. Okay, yeah, so this leads back to the golden tree, which is now filled with water and a bunch of other stuff. We'll go check this out later, though. Do they all just lead around to the zeolite place? I imagine so, right? No, this is just a hole in the ground. Oh, look at that. The first larva we found. Let's just inspect all of these. They may hold something. It's a bunch of nothing, though, which is kind of odd. I get that not every place can hold a secret or is supposed to hold a secret, but when no place holds a secret, it's kind of weird. All right, this seems to lead probably back into the zeolite, uh, at least back here. Wait a second, I can climb this. Uh, it just leads back up to the spaceship. There was also one over there, and that's kind of suspiciously out of the way. But first things first, anything on top here? Because we were able to climb up. No, but I think this is like the actual way that you're supposed to get into this area. And then below it, there still seems to be a bunch of snow. If there is anything, we'll probably not find it uh, until all that has melted. All right, I quickly want to take a look around the obsidian area. There wasn't much here before, but maybe now that trees are growing, something changed maybe? Still seems to be pretty much the same though. Yeah, kind of weird. I can't see like... A big change or anything, really. It just looks normal. Is there anything new in this valley? Well, there doesn't seem to be either. Seeing as nothing changed around here, I wonder if these parts of the map are finished yet? Because it really kind of feels like it isn't. I mean, clearly it isn't. <laughs> yeah, taking a look at it from above, there really isn't anything here. Nothing big that has changed anyway. In this region... Now has a bunch of trees. Well, a couple, I suppose. Where they were drilling, is there anything there? No. That would be kind of interesting, though, because you would think something pops out over here, seeing as you have these mega drills stationed here, so there must be something underground, right? The volcano hasn't really changed at all since we've been here. Or at least the outside, the inside definitely did. Because there was a bunch of water now. Which I suppose still looks kind of cool, but nothing already here it looked like the trees pushed something up here however this just seems like a way out to me yeah and this just looks like a shortcut the areas do look really nice though with all the trees and everything i think now that the trees have started growing we could pick a permanent spot for our actual base because there shouldn't be anything that pops out or gets in the way anymore all right let's go check out that sinkhole next Oh, finally, we also have the tree spreader. That should make plants a lot easier, as well as oxygen. We have a bunch of good tree seeds, which means we should have TI flowing again soon, because it's getting kind of slow. This area looks really cool, though, from back here already. So I did take a few pictures of this area, as I promised. And as you can see, a lot has changed. And I'm debating whether or not we should build around here somewhere. It would be kind of hard, though, I will admit that, but I think it would be cool. It probably wouldn't be, like, a mega base, per se, but at least we can make something that is bigger than what we have. Around here seems like a good fit. I think there's, like, the most flat terrain. Has a nice look into the, uh, well, sinkhole. I think this is the best location either way, because all the water stuff is on the other side. I'm taking a little look around, as there was that robot at the top there. And he mentioned that he was looking for someone or wondering about, like, another bot. I was kind of hoping that that bot would be uncovered down here, but I guess not. Alright, let's go beyond the waterfall. And this just leads back to the golden tree. I wonder if this tree has something to do with the story eventually. These, uh... I don't even know what the heck these are. These plants are crazy looking too. The devs did a really good job, though, at making the flora look recognizable as plants. 
but also look very alien. <laughs> well, it sadly doesn't seem like the sandstorm has calmed down just yet. I really badly want to take a... Yep, that's what I imagined would happen. <laughs> so I really badly want to take a look. I think the more annoying part now, though, is we're going to have to go all the way back to base for some food. All right, we're good again. I'm going to go back into the cave, but I'm going to go take a bit of a detour. I jump down the steamy vents. Well, something definitely happened here. God dang, there's so many trees around. I'll admit, though, it's kind of crazy how much this planet has changed. Like, so much more so than the original planet, right? Still a giant chunk of ice here, too. Man, that's the entire underground. You know, this probably also wouldn't be a bad spot to build. We would have to build on foundations, I think, but... We at least get to see a lot more than from inside the pit. And this is kind of like the center of the map as well. So that would be pretty good. But something that was quite interesting is there was a giant ice block on this side. That didn't seem to hide anything. Alright, I think with that we've seen everything that this current stage of the planet has to offer. I think what we'll do next is we're going to build a house on that ridge where we could overlook the sinkhole, the zeolite stuff, the caves, everything. And of course I'll also work more towards getting a lot more TI because, as I said, it's going a bit slow. And I'm hoping that we can explore down here at some point soon. We're also now starting to get emails from Starform Robotics. I wonder where that will lead eventually. The interesting thing is, though, we haven't really found anything that is non-human, per se, except for those eggs, but... Again, those eggs are already up in the air if they're gonna be used for something story-wise, or just used to create, well, all the pulsar cords, or all the different types of cords. I really hope that it has a better thing than just that, to be honest. But I suppose we'll see. I wanted to make a larger base because, well, this tiny tree house isn't really doing the job anymore. However, you can already kind of see it over there. But some new stuff has been added to the game, so I'm pretty excited about that. So there should be a base as well as a ship, and it looks like the ship's over there. And not only that, if we look around, look at that. The sandstorm is going down, and there's apparently water here. And a lot more land. Now it doesn't seem like we can explore there yet. We'll probably have to wait until breathable atmosphere is done. That is my guess. Also the storage room is getting a bit out of hand. Which is why I want to move. But I think before that let's go check out the new locations. You know I gotta say this looks pretty interesting this ship. It looks completely different from like all the other ones we've seen. So this should have been a ship commanded by smugglers. So far I see it. Wrap ton of beds, but I guess it'll make sense. They were probably smuggling humans or something. Actually, some pretty decent loot as well. And there is even an upstairs to this. Wow. Oh, sweet. Rocket engine. Okay, well, a lot more. Ooh, and our first terror tokens. A lot more goodies. And this one is loaded. As well as two outfits. And then there was still the upstairs part. Uh, let me go back to base and dump this in our horrific storage system. And by that I mean, let's make another one of these lockers and store it all in there. I think I really should start upgrading the flashlight because I can barely see. And I don't even want to know how that would be on YouTube. Alright, a closed door. Actually, a few. Yeah, fusion reactor is what I thought. Oh wow, that's a lot of uh, explosive powder right there. <laughs> and even more, alright. Who the nitrogen cartridges? We are not able to make those yet, as well as a blueprint, but we'll keep that one in there. And a message to read. If our informations are correct, this planet should be filled with the new tech that could make us all rich. This planet seems to hold some kind of terraformation tech with loads of high quality materials. Approaching the planet? Wait, what's that? They have a protection system? Abortion landing process! Abortion landing process! I wonder if that was part of the robotics, the Starform Robotics defense system. We might learn more in that other location that we can explore. But before that though, we're one gonna have to find it on the ice mountain and two, I'm gonna have to dump all these supplies again. But if they do have a defense system, how the heck did the guy from Sentinel Corp land? Now these are all questions that I don't have answers to. Right, I made it so I cannot interact with the farther lockers anymore. That's kind of a problem. Alright, let's do some exploring. I have a few ideas on where it could be. 
And one of them is if we go back here. There was this weird little pond right here. And there was a room back here, though. Well, it's not here, but I did find something else. Start from robotics chest. Oh, look at that. That effigy looks hella cool. So yeah, they finally added these as well. Actually, I want to see what does it give us if we destroy it. Just iron, really? At least the golden chest gave us like super alloy and aluminum. And they said it was going to be similar to that. They just meant the contents, not what it's actually made of. Oh, I see another one of the chests in this big open room. Oh, this is another star form effigy. That one actually looks pretty good as well. I will say, though, I feel like the backpack is going to be filled up before we can even get, find this base. This looks really cool, but how the heck is our light shining down when it's nighttime? That was actually that place that we found, I think it was last time. It was up here on this ridge. There was this area that didn't really have anything besides one of the eggs. So it might be up here? Well, the answer seems to be no. Oh, cool, but jumping down, there is another box. And the ice cave isn't that much bigger, though, so... Where the heck could it be? Ah, look at that, I think I found it. So basically where it is, is the giant lake. Uh, I guess you just have to follow it around the rock. Like, the lake is here. You can see that little base over there. With all the solar panels. Follow the lake. And the question is, do I want to explore it? Because I have no inventory space. Alright, we're back at where the base is at. I imagine this is a base for smugglers. I suppose we'll see. Actually, something else I want to know. We just delete this. Place it back. And there we go. I wanted to know if we can actually pick that up. And I guess we can. Which is nice, because that means more power for us. Get rid of all these computers. And I guess this beam here as well. A tear for a heater. And don't mind if I do, man. Yo, whoa, what the heck, man? Interesting. Oh, solar quartz. I was going to say interesting. This one is empty, but the other one had solar quartz in it. Laser quartz. Ulcer. So we only missed the green one. Unless this big dude has it. No, that one has a blue one again. So what is this then? Because, oh, well, I guess we'll find out. There's two notes here. I begin to love these little drones. They make little noises when you open them up. This mission is way funner than I would have thought. Okay, so this is that hacker dude again. What does this other one say? Offline. Well, <laughs> that was probably the note that was on one of these dudes, right? Okay, so I guess he set up multiple bases around the place. Dude went all out, though, when he was uh, doing all this. Yeah, not as much stuff, but some interesting supplies, though. That's for dang sure. Ooh, we unlocked the teleporter. That is pretty darn good. What does that cost again? It's actually not crazy expensive for what we all have. Which actually is pretty good. Because I did want to have a teleporter that goes back here. Mainly so we can check up on the progress. It does seem like it's getting less again because I can see little islands now. Alright, it's been like half an hour since I started recording. Uh, I may as well start on the base, am I right? So the idea I had for the base is to set it up on this ridge. So I made an outline here. And it kind of overlooks the pit overlooks well i always said that was the obsidian biome however i did read in the patch note that it is pulsar quartz and i guess it makes sense because uh, they're no longer black like the obsidian looked they're now blue for some reason that probably means something's changing i guess pulsar quartz makes sense because there were a lot of those eggs and eggs can turn into pulsar quartz by the looks of it so i wanted to have this as my layout for the base it's gonna be like two stories tall however there's one problem Never mind, I guess the problem got fixed. That's nice. So some weird issue I had here, right? Well, I guess it's not a weird issue. That is just how this terrain is here. But yeah, the reason this was floating is because I couldn't place it on the things here. I also brought... Where did I go? The vehicle station. So I'm just going to place that here so we can load up our uh, car back at the base with iron and stuff. And we can teleport them here and then take them back. And go back and forth, basically. We definitely do have some interesting yard. And I'm thinking of actually using this by making a little ramp. Because now we have access to those. Which is pretty nice. The sloped foundation. As well as angular ones. And I've already been using those. To smooth out some of these edges. I did make sure that all the foundation are connected to the floor. I just like the look of that a bit better. Even though you don't really see it. Right, but first things first. We're going to have to fix up all of this. And I'm debating whether or not I should make a basement, and I think I will. But I'm thinking of making this the lowest part. And I do want to have everything suspended on 
uh, foundations because I just think it looks better that way. Now, seeing as I'm going to make this trip quite often to go back and forth to the storage room, I should really just set up the teleporters. I think the only thing that we may not have in storage are the obsidian. However, those should not be that hard to get. I think they're around the volcano. Oh, we can finally read this dude. Performing task. Move and unload. Well, damn. It took four updates for them to finally fix this bloody message. And it's just copy-paste from another one. I mean, what the heck did I expect? Why the heck is there a golden tree out there? All right, hold up. I'm going to check that out. Because I thought there was only one, right? That was underground. And it's not like we grow these, unlike these other ones. It kind of grew over this entire station here. There's multiple as well. Can't see a bloody thing thanks to all the other trees, though. Unless this entire biome is filled with them. Maybe that's why there was nothing here before. They couldn't really place a lot without, uh, you know, all these trees getting in the way. And this area looks really dense with trees now as well. It's crazy. I'm taking a look from on top. That looks pretty densely packed with trees, man. I'm guessing they're not really going to do much with that area then. Because you're not going to be able to place a lot except for maybe a base underground. But I guess there's no ship going there unless they have to move the trees again. All right, well, I thought there was obsidian out here. But I guess I was wrong. Is it in the mountain? But it was just iridium, right? Okay, there's some obsidian here. Good. Not a ton, though, but I guess technically we only need a two, so that is great. We already have that. Anything extra? Well, it's just that. It's extra. Right, the question is, where are we going to build this teleporter? I'm thinking of doing it, like, all the way at the top here? In the lookout room, maybe? <laughs> Never mind. And even use it this way. I mean, technically we can put it outside, right? It doesn't really matter. But it's the tree house. Right, I think with that we can actually continue again. Right, that is the under layer in. Means we can figure out where we want some of the rooms, or at least where to start it. I'm thinking of making this some sort of lookout deck. I think if we just start, like, right here. Okay, it's gonna hang over the side, so I guess this is how far the building is gonna go. We could move it. Yeah, let's move it over a little bit. It's not really gonna help with this side, by the looks of it, but... At least this side here has been, uh, looks a little better. And we can do that. Then the other question is... Okay, so yeah, that's not gonna work like this, is it? We're gonna have to get rid of some of these. Even then it won't work. I mean, we can force it to work. There we go. Oh boy, we're stuck in here now. <laughs> I think maybe the basement idea is just not gonna work. I can't even seem to place down the ladder here either. We could potentially have a small basement on this side, though. Alright, let's see if this is gonna work. This is a bit higher, so... Yes. Sweet, now we have a way to go up and down. Yeah, sweet, we can walk. There is a little bit of a... <laughs> thing that goes up here. So we might just have to remove this one in particular. The rest seems to be okay. And with that, I think we can place on all the foundation now. Well, we haven't even finished the foundation, and I'm already scouring the earth for iron. That's going to be quite a fun project then, isn't it? Alright, with that one, the foundation is laid down. Let's see how far we can get with layer 1. I think for a project this large, though, we should have probably waited until we get the ore extractor tier 3. So we can have a couple of those just set on iron. And the big problem is, though, we are quite far away from that still. We basically need double the amount of pressure we got right now. Why don't you look at that? The big meteor's coming down. I think that's the pulsar cord one. That one has been dropping quite frequently. And where does it land? I think our new base. Uh, it looks like it's gonna land in the pit. Let's have a little look, sees. Yeah, it landed down there. Where are your goodies, mate? Ah, here they are. As I said, a bunch of pulsar cords. I think it's like the third or fourth one that landed on this planet. I haven't really seen many of the other ones, funny enough. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> I literally just got up here, built the rooms on the other side, and it seems like we're getting another pulsar cord rock. Look at all the pulsar cords flying. Quick, grab them before they roll down the hill. And the no, the rock's going over them. This one is kind of in an annoying spot. It's like right under the rock. There we go, we've just able to get it. 
Right, what I think we should do is employ these, the big living compartments. As that's just gonna save us a lot of iron in the long run. It may cost a bit of super alloy for now, but honestly, that's not that bad. Alright, I think that's one layer done. I left a hole in the middle here. Uh, just because we probably won't be using that much uh, space. And we can have a little garden out here. And I'm thinking of maybe removing a couple of these like singular living compartments and replacing them with the big ones. Because I would both save on space and resources. It would just look a lot better from the inside as well. There we go. And that's most of them that could be anyway replaced with the two by twos. There's just this area here, but it has the ladder and I can't really mess around a lot with that anymore. Also on my descent here to get some water. Look at that. It's one of the star from robotic chests. Oh, nice. A new effigy. There should be 23 of them, and I think we found three or four now. So yeah, we got tons of space. Probably place down walls. Uh, these ones, the inner walls. Make little rooms here and there. Oh, would you look at that? The sandstorm is like practically gone. Well, not from here, I guess. That is so bizarre, the way that works. Uh, if you stand up here, it's all gone, except for over there. Which probably means technically it isn't gone just yet. Oh, you can see a little base down there. Also over there. Oh, I'm pretty excited to explore this. It's almost ready. So yeah, when there is a breathable atmosphere, that's probably when that's done, because it's almost done, and so is this. Talking about almost being done, I am almost done with this house. Well, the shell for it anyway. I think that was the last thing. Go we'll take a look from a distance. I won't be doing the inside today, because that's going to require so much iron that we don't have. But yeah, that looks pretty good. We might adjust it a little later on, but for now, that looks pretty damn good. Yeah, it is quite spacious inside, so that is pretty neat. We have a little outside area where we can do some stuff. I like having these. I think they look pretty neat. Then we have an upstairs, of course, as well. Thinking of making this a large bedroom. Seems to work pretty well for it. We have a nice view of the pit. As well as our treehouse. Again, this over here is just very spacious. And then, of course, we have the way into the butterfly dome. I just have these basic ones in here for now, but those will change probably later. I'm also going to place fences here, of course, but I'll do all that off camera because this is going to take quite a bit of time, probably running back and forth a lot more. I've been at this for a couple hours now, and we only have the shell. <laughs> it finally happened. This sandstorm is completely gone. This seemed to have happened when breathable atmosphere was done. So that is pretty nice. There also seem to be two ways of getting in here. One is by climbing the vine down. And the other is the cave. And I think I'll be taking that option. Because I'm pretty sure that's how they want you to experience it. In my mind, it's going to be like some grand reveal, right? When you walk through it. So let's jump down the sinkhole. Go beyond the waterfall. Past the golden white tree. Straight into the deep dark biome from Minecraft. Through the wooden mushroomy tree area. And here we are, this opening kept killing us every time we walked towards it, since there was a sandstorm. But now... We can walk here. Well, the reveal was less dramatic than I thought, I will admit. <laughs> I guess we still have to climb down. So where's that other vine? Oh, that comes right down here. I could have saved myself a lot of time. It's kind of what I expected. I mean, I could have jumped down as well, of course. Alright, so let's see. I saw that there was a tiny base over there, although it seems like there is a lot of it underwater as well. And there is, of course, that island. Now, I don't see anything else, like, around here. Ooh. Except for that. I'll take that. I mean, that is a pretty good damn larva right there. I'm gonna go in my butterfly dome. I also have my eye out for rare larva still. Alright, we're all the way at the bottom. There is a waterfall here. It seems like there is something behind here. Ah, just one of these boxes. I should have brought the car, actually. You know, I'm going to call the adventure short, guys. I'm going to go get the car. All that for the simple reason that we have a ton more inventory space. So, you know, while it's nighttime, I thought I would go have a little look around on the upper ledges. Because we wouldn't be able to see much anyway. But man, these, uh, these flowers here are vibrant. And they actually look pretty nice as well. Also seems like there is a dome with another house over there. And I suppose we may as well check this out. It actually seems like there's a ton of them here. So let's check it out. What should we... You know what? Let's go check out the dome first. Because I have a feeling it's just going to be a regular old 
dome. Uh, but no, it's not. It does need some cleaning, though. There is some decent stuff in here. Yeah, some very decent stuff in here, right? I don't like a lot of the rocket engines, because they are kind of... Well, they're not super hard to make, but kind of annoying to make. Tier 3 heater as well. We place that back down. Nut inside. Well, we'll have to take it with us then. Well, interestingly, there's nothing else really here. Except... Look at that, another butterfly. He was hiding... Thank God the text popped up, because I wouldn't have seen him. He's not as good as the other one, though. But hey, let's go check out some of these other places. Huh. That's not what I expected to see. This is like a medical bot. Welcome to your science planet. Also, oh, this is where they originally landed then, eh? That's an interesting little... Oh, wow. A lot of these butterflies. And they're rare, hell yeah. But yeah, so this is where they originally landed, by the looks of it. It's also where you can get rich on the butterflies. Let's see what's in here. Double bed, as well as a locker. Locker is empty though. And there's the next one. That has, That's actually a pretty good amount of loot. I'll take that. Again, that's a decent amount of loot, but I won't be taking everything this time. And then the big lockers are empty. The tiny ones are full. All right, is there anything else hiding around here? Don't see it. But all right, so this is their like original landing location. Now where the hell did they land though? Because it doesn't look like this area is really primed for landing. Like landing rockets at least. Maybe bloody water planes, but... And I doubt they use that, right? I think the water here might be a little high. But hey, we can go inside. This is a console. Oh boy, we're gonna go underwater. Bloop bloop. Right, so this seems like just a communal eating area. I'm kind of surprised how all these chairs are still upside down. We can go down even farther. Actually looks pretty nice, though. Building underwater like this. The heck happened here, man? You have a message for us? Offline. I can understand this dude's offline. Ooh, finally another type of fuse here. And then this just leads outside. Oh, look at that, man. I wish we had pillars like this in our like, actual uh, system here. I would love to use them. There's also an outer deck, which looks pretty neat. All right, we can go back inside. We have the oxygen. Some tier 2 heaters. What's in here, though? This looks like a changing room? Yeah, with more beds in it. Oh, this is like a medical area, I think. Because you would store, like, the medicine in these cooling cabinets, right? There's some bathrooms here as well. Maybe not. This area confuses me, man. But I think the thing that confuses me most is that we did not find any like messages here but i think this area just says a lot on its own but i don't think we really particularly needed that that's pretty cool though and then there's the island and i imagine there is something interesting on there but first i want to go back and completely empty my inventory and loot that place so i'll be right back also one of you taught me in the comments on one of the last videos that you can hold control and then click on an item and it will take everything of the same item and store it into chests, which is, let me tell you, pretty damn helpful. <laughs> no longer do I have to, like, run around, click every individual item, sort it, stuff like that. Alright, this place has now been completely emptied. Let's go check out the island. Well, first, see if they built anything here on the ocean floor. Because remember, when they arrived here, that part was not underwater, because there was no water here. It doesn't really seem like they did anything else. I also don't see anything on the shorelines. Do you see a good box of loot? I see an egg over there. That is kind of separate on one of the other islands. Is there a proper way for us to get up here? I kind of feel like I just walked the wrong direction. <laughs> now I'm going all the way around. There's another egg there too. Interesting. Alright, here it looks like we can go in. Into the middle of the island. And that is our way up here. With again a bunch of good loot. And since we already almost did the entire outline of the island, may as well finish that first. Just so we're not missing anything. Okay, it doesn't really seem like it. That's our car. Let's head up. Well, my first impression is, there's nothing here. <laughs> like, there's nothing that really grabs my attention yet. There's this robot dude who's looking out onto the ocean. Oh, he's eating. Look at that. Didn't know that they needed space food. He's offline. Damn. And the last thing he did was eat space food, looking out into the sunset. Well, annoyingly enough, I think that dude is the only thing that's up here. Yeah, I cannot see anything else up here. 
But it probably means this is one of those areas that the developers are still working on. Because from what it looks like, this DLC is not yet finished. As we got a uh, pretty decent update the other day, which added a bunch of new stuff. And I imagine this area will be expanded upon as well. Oh, this goes down so deep on this side. There's a bunch of boxes here. Bunch of goodies. I think the only thing that we have to figure out now is what to do with these eggs, these petrified eggs. Or how to at least make them not petrified, right? All right, quickly check out this other island that has the petrified egg on it. There is nothing here. Not even a box. All right, I also checked pretty much everything I could underwater. And I haven't seen anything else. Like no base besides that one. So yeah, like I said, the developers are probably still working on this area. For now, it seems pretty cool though. It looks like this is where they landed. It'd be cool to see like a landing pad that's either on that island or under the water. I think what I'll do next is try to get the TI up. See if we can get any more messages from Starform Robotics. We also still have to figure out how to unpetrify the eggs. There's also still a few of those fusion reactors. And I think we almost have enough TI to unlock fusion batteries or fusion cells. Yeah, so we're nearly there. I cannot wait for the drones, man. That will make life so much easier. What would also make things easier is if I could actually use this base properly without having to go back and forth all the time. Oh, would you look at that? Iridium is full. Hooray. I think the other side is as well. Hold on. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to continue working on this base. Then in the next episode, what we'll do is most likely check out what is beyond those fusion reactor doors. And hopefully figure out how the hell these eggs are unpetrifiable. But something tells me we just have to go up in TI and those pulsar cords that you can see in the distance there will do something and it will unpetrify the eggs. I'm not sure exactly how far we need to be. But hey, that's also just speculation. And this egg finally unpetrified. And it looks like it's a cosmic cord. So let's collect it, see if anything happens. Cords containing tremendous amount of energy. Insert this in an ore breaker to extract rare quartz. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that after I saw that you could do that. So originally, I thought these eggs would have a bigger significance. However, it looks like they're just used in order to get different types of quartz, right? As you can see on this picture here. And we will collect a few, see if anything happens. Maybe we get a message from maybe Starform or Sentinel Corp. I haven't gotten one in a very long time, which is kind of concerning. Also, we reached a 1 TTI. That is quite nice. So I think we're like one fifth of the way of completing all the terraformation stages. All right, we're going to have to get some, I think just humanite, right? Because bauxite's in here. You're gonna need to get bauxite in order to automate aluminum, which is kind of annoying. It's the only ore in the game you cannot get through a regular tier 3 ore extractors, which is uh, really annoying, but hey. I need to set up a few more anyway, because as you can see, I don't have one for cobalt. And I think there's a couple other ones I don't have either. Anyway, Umanite can be found in the what used to be the ice cave. Bauxite you can get from down here. I have that automatically set up. I would automate all the other ores as well, like the dolomite, or well, I guess, and the umanite. But honestly, it's just not worth it. You don't need them for anything besides the ore crusher. And again, bauxite is the only one you would realistically need, because it's the only way to get aluminum. Let's see, how many did we need again? Just one? All right. Now, there were a couple eggs in the ice cave as well, so I'll just collect those real quick. There was one on this pedestal right above the lake, and there's one on the other side. And then I think there was also one this way when we go up the ledge. And then there is a vine that goes up there. I honestly don't really see the purpose of this, if I'm completely honest. Of the eggs, I mean, with that. Like, sure, I guess it's the only way of getting the different colored variants of the course. Or at least if you don't use the portal with the randomized shipwrecks. Eventually, you need to anyway, because I don't think these eggs are a renewable resource. And I'm pretty sure there is one behind the smuggler ship as well. There it is. And there is the smuggler ship. Now, besides the cosmic quartz, there is something else I want to look at and go do. Oh, did not mean to face through that wall. But there's also some fusion reactors we gotta power up so they open up doors. I want to see what's behind those. And I guess we can do that while these are producing 
the courts. I will admit though, it's kind of annoying to build in some locations in this DLC, especially around these type of rock faces. And you kind of have them like all over the place, makes them really hard to build. Uh, let's see, I don't want to get all of them. I actually do want to display one of these cosmic quartz because they look kind of cool. So there we go. I don't want to have this the other way around. These are uh, how's the different microchips we got. It does look really cool though. And besides these ones that I just put in here, I might just keep the rest as uh, display items. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take out three of them and store them in this box and then take the fusion cells out. So from memory, I think we needed three of them. One for the smuggler ship, so we should have probably brought that one while we were doing this. And then two over there into the main station. I also quickly want to take a look around the quartz area, see if anything happened there. I imagine not, but seeing as these eggs are apparently quartz, and these things have been lighting up with a blue color, they used to be all black, it makes me wonder if there is anything around here. Oh, we're finding genetic traits now. Nice. Not the best one, I will admit. Bioluminescence isn't really one I often use. Or at all, really. Yeah, taking a quick look for this biome, I don't think anything really changed. Be taking some of these eggs, though. If I see them. Yeah, there's nothing here that I haven't seen before. I imagine what could happen is this area is still under development. There might be something will pop up there in a later update. All right, we're back inside the massive spaceship. There we go. Add in two diffusion cells. All the lights turn on and only one of the doors opens up, really. First box, nothing really that great. Second box, nothing really too great either. Not already a great start so far. A regular blueprint ship. Do you have text? Nope. Also oh, circuit boards, which are kind of nice. Actually, this box was pretty good, I will admit. Tier two fertilizer and explosive powder. Never say no to that. Ooh, a good plant, pulsar quartz, some rods, and then the big one to save. Finally, a decent amount of cash as well as energy multipliers. That is really good because you need those in order to construct a portal. And the other way of getting them is by buying them. Which, I mean, with this amount of terror tokens, we definitely could have. Alright, my inventory is getting rather full. Instead of running all the way back to the base, I actually have another plan in mind. So we have this little shelter here that we use for some random stuff. I just slap down a box here and tell it that it supplies everything. And then I just put in the things that I know for sure have a spot in my storage system. There we go. Most of it is getting picked up already. That's just enough stuff for me to actually grab the rest here. All the rest of the valuable items anyway. All right, that was the very first of these. I guess while I'm here, I may as well also destroy all our computers. All right, before we go over to the smuggler ship, I'm going to head back, dump all these supplies off, and actually take the car this time. Because that is just a nice little extra inventory space right there. I will admit that it's kind of funny that that has become kind of its main purpose. Because while this planet is kind of flat, and the original has some flat spots, by the time you get it, and get it upgraded good, there really is no reason to drive it around. Because it's slow... It doesn't have the oxygen upgrade right from the get-go, which uh, kind of makes it useful. All right, we dumped all the supplies off. I doubt that most of this will go into storage at the moment, but hey. Let's go check up on this real quick, too. Ah, oh, interesting. So you can also get nitrogen cartridges and obsidian from this. And osmium. All right, we got some uh, quasar quartz, which is great. It's the only type of quartz we did not have yet. And then let's see, is there anything I want? I think I want to have... Three of these, well, I guess two of these. And the reason why I want to have these heater multipliers, because I think technically the tree spreader tier three is the best thing in the game for producing TI. However, the heater tier five is a lot easier to maintain and build because, you know, you also need a bunch of tree seeds for the tree spreader. And until I have those, I think I'm just going to place down a bunch of heaters. I just looked at the difference and it's a lot bigger than I thought. So maybe it wasn't worth it to spend those on heater upgrades. Also, something I realized is that we actually grow these nice looking golden trees. So it looks like this new seed here is the one that uh, produces these. All right, let's go check out the smuggler ship. I think we only needed one fusion cell for this. So uh, let's hope anyway. Yes, sweet. And this opened up, wow, all three doors, really. 
Ooh, a bunch of money, more power. I'll take all of that, please. More money, energy multiplier. And then, oh, this actually opens up a giant new part of the ship. There's some spacesuits. Nice, a rocket engine. Oh, wow, a bunch of guns. Oh, wow, a bunch of laser. Well, I imagine they're going to be laser rifles. These boxes, they have some okay stuff in them. And let's see, this main part, this actually seems to go even farther. It doesn't really have much else than a, eh? but this kind of seems like it ends. I mean, it was still a pretty good haul, though. Not gonna lie. And right, let's see if we can dump the car inside. <laughs> I doubt it has enough space here. Yeah. I just wanted to get the circuit boards, man. I could have probably dropped some of this iron as well. We already have that automated, too. Now I look at it, though, they have a bunch of these weapons laying about. That's crazy. All right, that's the smuggler ship done. And there's actually one more place that I want to take you guys real quick. And that is right beyond where the uh, hacker spaceship is. Which is behind the volcano. And then are these things. Now, I originally thought they were drills. But someone pointed out in the comments that these are the defense system of the planet. So I looked at them and it actually makes a lot of sense. They have these giant rail guns at the front. That you saw at the smuggler ship. And also, if you interact with their message... Uh, they even say that it's to protect Starform Robotics. And I kind of skipped over that for some reason. Now my question though is, one, what the heck are they doing here? Here specifically, this does not seem like the most advantageous spot for a bunch of protected robots to spawn at. Oh, they also have a bunch of good loot. What the heck? Good thing I came back here. But also, they shot down the smugglers, but not the hacker, <laughs> which literally landed right next to them. So that's kind of odd. I also confirmed they all say the same thing. And I need to make a second trip for this last flippin' dude. You know, while flying back here, I thought of something. We bought those heater fuses. If I'm not quick and take them out, they're just gonna be sent back. <laughs> Alright, good. They still seem to be here. Well, we actually have a surprising amount of stuff that is not going through the system right now. I mean, the eggs make sense. And I think circuit boards is something we... Oh, circuit boards are full, that's why. I think pulsar cores are also full, so I'm really gonna have to do stuff here. And also, I decorated what is supposed to be an office area. I actually like it quite a lot. Uh, don't use the couch, you'll get stuck in the ceiling. I don't know why, I think it's because it's trying to put me... Not in front of it, like you would expect, but on top of it. And that is kinda... As you can see, I can't really jump. Probably because I put it like kind of in this opening here. Yeah, I quite like it. These are all the effigies that I've found so far. And I think it probably means these are all the effigies because I have explored pretty much the entire map. Also, all the new plants are in here, except for this one. This is an old one, but they actually look really cool. This purple one, this little drippy viney one looks really sick. This cactus looks, I mean, it looks all right. The colors are very vibrant. I like that. And this one looks kind of crazy as well. Uh, also, I placed a butterfly display the other way around. I cannot destroy it without destroying the wall. So, uh, it's a feature now. Because I bet if I destroy the wall, I cannot place it back due to everything I placed. For the rest, I haven't really decorated anything. I just set up automatic food, automatic silk, or automatic, oh, well, I guess automatic silk, but automatic fabric. The food and fabric, once the chests or the lockers are full, they just get sent to the rocket. So I get money automatically, so that's pretty good. So now that I have access to these energy multiplier fuses, I can start creating the portal generator, which means we're going to get a ton of endgame loot, which hopefully means that I can skyrocket some of the uh, TI again. We already unlocked everything in the basic one, except for, well, the main TI line. Let's face it, we're gonna get that pretty soon as well. This is all the animal stuff, which we can't even do anything with anyway, because we need the genetic synchronizer. I will admit I am kind of disappointed about those eggs. Them just being for quartz and stuff like that. I can see why there is no like colorful quartz biome. So it would be the only place to get them until you have the portal, right? They looked very special and then turns out they're kind of not. Also, it kind of seems like we're at the end of the story for Humble so far. I'll be playing through all the terraformation stages up until the end. If a new message pops up or we can, you know, leave the planet with an ending, I'll be making another video on that. 
If not, we're just gonna have to wait for a new update. But before I start rambling even longer, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone. Alright, just kidding, it's not the end yet. So yeah, as you can see, we completed the full terraformation stage, which took over 50 hours. And all we got to show for it is a message from Sentinel Corp. Congratulations, you've successfully transformed this planet. Thanks to your efforts, Sentinel Corp is now officially the legal owner of Humble IP-168. A shuttle is coming to extract you in the approximately 452 days. That is quite a long time. That's like 200 hours, man. Now, I'm pretty sure one, uh, this is a ESAR, because I think I've seen something similar to this before. I just can't remember what. I think it was Subnautica that had like a crazy long time, wait time as well before your shuttle arrived. And then you were like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. However, I also think that this is just not the complete story just yet, because they never really did anything else with Starform Robotics. So I imagine we'll get to see more over time, right? That is what I hope, at least. Now the devs are still updating. Now the developers are, of course, still updating the game, so that is at all possible. They did say that we're gonna just release some uh, smaller updates, the bug fix. And then, in a couple months, they'll start really ramping content again. In the meantime, I'll be busy reconstructing the entire storage room, so I've already done this part, which is all the ores. Next up, I'm gonna work on this area. This house is mainly all the stuff that we need in the bio lab here, as well as plants and, well, larva, stuff like that. But yeah, story so far, I think it's pretty interesting, so... Sentinel Corp got sent a hacker due to this planet to disrupt Starform Robotics air formation, ultimately so they could take over. Sounds like a very fucked up move, which kind of fits Sentinel Corp to be fair. I do wish we would see a little more of this disruption, but hey, we'll probably see that over time. I also hope that these cosmic quartz will uh, play a little bit of a bigger role in something eventually. But yeah, those are my thoughts right now. That was a pretty darn long expedition for this DLC, usually when an update comes out. I spent about an hour or two on it, because we already had everything, but restarting from scratch after all these updates was pretty fun. But with that being said, for real this time, I hope you all enjoyed, and next time I see you, there will be an update. See y'all then. Bye everyone.